Hi, my name is Avery Turber and I'm here to do some teaching about the Gemstar Epidural Infusion Pump. This video will cover how to review the program before starting the infusion, priming the line, starting an infusion, changing a cassette, shift totals in history, and changing the batteries. First of all, to get started, you have to turn the machine on, which is this white button located here. It'll go through a self-test, which takes a few moments. It then comes to this page, which uh, says using batteries, and you have to press enter to confirm. This machine only uses batteries. And then it goes through another self-test. And it'll come to this page. Um, you'll want to resume the program. And this will allow you to review the program. You use the arrows up and down to scroll through and review. And then review complete, it asks, and you can press enter. And then you're ready to start your infusion. If at this point you need to prime your line, you just hold down the purge button located on the right side of the machine. Here until priming is complete. And then to start the infusion, all you have to do is press the green button that says start. You know the machine is infusing properly when the arrows are moving across the bottom of the screen here. Changing the cassette, which is located on the side of the machine, the first thing you need to do is stop the infusion. Then you'll want to disconnect the tubing from the patient and you press change and then select new container. To eject the cassette, you push the black button on the top. Hold it down and it should pop right out. Then you take your new container and you just place it in here and push down. The new when installing containers, the white goes in towards the machine and then it should make a click sand when it's been properly reinstalled. And then to begin your infusion again, just press the start button. Again, the arrows will be moving across the bottom when it's properly installed. Um, shift totals in history, you can find those under options. And then you hit two for histories. and then you can go select shift totals. This allows you to look through all the shift totals using the arrow buttons. And then when you get to the end, it'll ask you if you would like to clear the, total, the totals, yes or no. We'll say yes. And then it begins infusing again. The last skill we're learning on this video is changing the batteries. The pump has to be off in order to change the battery. So you hit stop. You can turn the power off here. It will shut down. The battery door is located on the bottom of the machine under this gray tab and you just flip it up and then turn and then the batteries can come out. The machine takes two AA batteries that are installed um, with the positive side so then you put the batteries back in and then you just have to turn the door and flip it closed. That concludes this video. Please see video two for issues with troubleshooting the machine.